Good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tony J. The Tony Commander J. R. Kopokwa Chesson Talk Show. Today is September the twenty second. It's a Tuesday. Let's get into my lesson. I'm sorry, I'm running a little late. I try to. I'm trying this new thing with the ocean and all of that, as you can see, and. Uh, you know, when you start new things, anything can happen. So let's get my lesson, okay? I hope you like my scene. Today we're going to talk about C CPP versus ANC. We're going to talk about tradition and change. We're going to talk about LPR, Liberia Public Radio, and African Star Newspaper Commentary this morning, or last night. Okay, let's start. I got on TV this morning, I'm on Facebook this morning, and I started seeing all my disgruntled brothers and sisters coming up, brother and sister coming up and talking about the incident that happened in Lima County during the CPP primary when ANC representative got hacked uh, with the colleagues and there were violence in that area. Uh, Yosinde Poye got on this morning and was blaming Ben and I Ure for all that happened. When I read the newspaper yesterday, the newspaper pointed to Ben and I Ure too because in this, in this whole coalition party, Ben and I Ure owns radio station. I don't know if he's the only one that owns it, but he has always had his own radio station. Wherever he participated in politics or wherever he wanted to get his message across. ANC, although Elliot Cummings has money, he didn't he didn't he didn't think about the communication of his message throughout the country. And secondly, I told the ANC people forever that Alec Cummings is not ready to leave Liberia. He is immature in Liberian politics and inexperienced. And he stayed in power, his party was operational under Ellen Johnson Sallif and made all the corruption and stealing and, and, and nepotism and Alec Cummings said nothing. Now under George Weir, he condemned George Weir for the same corruption that Ellen Johnson did worse. Ellen Johnson said did worse to her 12 years administration. Now, Ellen Cummings know he can't beat this election by himself. They know that all these parties know, the opposition know they can't beat George Weir by themselves. So they all decide to form a coalition. Ellen Cummings is the novice in the coalition, but he joined with all these guys. Ben and I, you been in politics from top since, since Taylor time. He ripped our country off of billions of dollars and everything Taylor could not take on in Liberia, he left with Ben and I. Walker had been in power forever and had never made any positive strides in Liberian politics. LP, well, they got Darius Dillon. So these three parties plus ANC formed a coalition. Now, since this coalition been formed, ANC has given up all of its rights to the coalition. They went to Cape Mount County. ANC gave up their representative for the CPP representative, for the group representative. They went to another county, CPP did the same. Now they go to Nibba County. PPP has its candidate out to run. But Ben and I, Yuri, and the other two parties, Unity Party and Liberty Party, are against the candidate that ANC is putting up. Why? The excuse Ben and I, Yuri, gave is two people of the same tribe cannot run for offices in the same county. Now, this is craziness. If the two people are qualified, if there are the only two candidates out there that the people have to choose from, and the people have no problem with it, what does the, the party have 
have to do that. But owning a radio station throughout the country and up country, but then I he recalled his radio station and told them not to promote the interests of CPP over the interests of his party, LPP, which is also part of the CPP. So he wanted, they wanted their party to win. The three coalition parties against ANC wanted their party to win. So Ben and I called his people and there was a big commotion fight. The candidate for ANC got hacked in the head. Now all of this had brought a commotion in the party. Now we don't know who's going to run against CDC. CPP in trouble. ALC wants to break away from the coalition now. They all pissed off with the coalition and how Ben and I you behave. So what are you going to do? We sit in now and watch him. As for Gali, with British Radio came on this morning with his disgruntled attitudes towards CPP, Ben and I, Yuri, COP, Henry Costa, he didn't call his name. He just said COP, COP. Apparently he didn't want to dignify him by calling his name. So this is where we are. This is the politics in Liberia. Our political parties are all dysfunctional. We have no real leaders in Liberia today. CPP is just as bad as CDC. Our country is led by war criminals and war laws. What hope is there for Liberia and the leadership of Liberia for a better future for us? My second point, tradition and change. Our tradition has been part of the problems in Liberia for so long. Our different tribal groups with their different tribal practices and interests compound the problems of our country. All of, many of the dysfunctional behaviors among our people emanate from our tribal society. And this has to change. We can't go on like this. All the rape and all these things are traditional. It's not a part of our mainstream society. Our girls getting raped. That's something we never dealt with in our civilized modern society. Now, changes are needed in our traditional society. Our traditional society cannot remain stagnant as the rest of Liberia grows and prospers. I told you this in my last statement. We got to look at our traditional society. We got to see those things that in our society that do not conform to our modern society. And we got to have our chiefs and elders bring these practices to power with our modern society. We can no longer keep our traditional society in the part from our civilized society. Too many things go on in our traditional society that has to change and come to power with our Western society. Why? Because it's necessary for the growth of our people and our children. It is necessary for us to advance into a new era. FGM, all these practices, female genital mutilation, all the practices that go on in our traditional society have to cease and desist. Or we can find other means of dealing with it. If it's religious and our traditional community got to sit down with the chiefs and the elders and discuss these things that need to be changed, that bother our women and are causing problems in our modern society. So we have to come to some power on how we're going to deal with the Western society and our traditional society. We've got to try to minimize tribalism. 
all these tribes fighting among themselves, all the animosity against the different tribes. We got to minimize it. And there can be no tribes evolved in our politics when Liberians of all tribes and nations in our country have a right to run for any position that they qualify for. And we cannot continue to play on this tribal line, continue to do things because of this tribe and that tribe. No. Our country cannot persist in this. Our country cannot continue to survive in this. So this is my advice. All the ills of our society, our warning and Western, our warning and tribal society have to coincide. We have to sit down to discuss these issues that matter to us. We have to look at these issues that must be dealt with to satisfy all aspects of our society, to deal with the needs and concerns of our women as well as the needs and concerns of our men and our children in our traditional settings. So our country can be on par with our constitution and the needs for our people to grow and prosper as one nation and one people. Okay? And final point. LP our Liberian Public Radio and African Star newspaper put out a commentary last night of the day against D. Maxwell Komen, the man who was appointed by Do as Foreign Minister of Liberia. He's about to be confirmed by the Liberian Senate. And LPR and African Star newspaper came out with a commentary asking the Liberian legislature to suspend the confirmation of the foreign minister until all the allegations brought against him for sexual harassment, for rape, and everything else are investigated properly, especially the, 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 the crime of sexual harassment, the, the charge of sexual harassment brought against him in the United States of America at the Liberian mission in New York by a Liberian employee that worked with Mr. Komuya then, when he had that division or that bureau or whatever it is. So New York police investigating it, the international community for investigating it, the Liberian community, the Liberian government investigating it. So LPR and African Star newspaper are asking the Liberian government to put a hold on the confirmation process of foreign minister to be designate D. Maxwell Komuya until the investigation into the rape charges are resolved. Okay? Now, Liberian children, our country has been dysfunctional for too long. You can see now we have no honest leaders in our country. The CPP is dysfunctional. We know nothing but war laws and, and, and old leaders from the past that continue to bring our country to stagnation and lack of growth. We have the CDC on the other hand, incompetent people, criminals, all of them from the slum area. We have no leaders in our country. All our leaders are abroad. All the people that can help us are abroad. And we need real, real sound leaders who know Liberia's history and Liberia's problems to come home and help our country. But these people in our country will not make the, 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 the life conducive for us to come home. They were not to, because they are the one eyed giant among the blind and our people, among our people. And they will do everything to maintain themselves in power and keep other Liberians from coming in and disturbing their control and dominance over our country and people. The time of the Liberian people is now. These people leading our country 
have failed us time and again. We have no good leaders in our country. And how can we change these things? How can we ensure that our people in the diaspora will come home and help us build our country? The time of the Liberian people is now. It depends on all of you, my young children. All of you are standing up and saying no to corruption, no to the continued evil and, 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 and stagnation to the growth and progress of our country because of these corrupt leaders, these dysfunctional leaders, these leaders who don't care about nothing or nobody but themselves. And there is no exception in Liberia today. CPP is just as bad as CDC. And Ellie Cummings is a little lamb in the dens of wolves. My people that my lesson today, we got to take care of our future. We got to take our destiny in our own hands. We got to set down the foundation of Liberianism and Liberian constitutional leadership and direction for our country and people. If not, the rogues and the warlords and the war criminals will continue to run our country. And the international community can't do nothing about it because we have no leaders in our country. We have nobody to set our country straight. And this is the intention of the international community. My people, I see you tomorrow we talk. I had some problems this morning. I had my thinking of this way, this way. And I hope you all appreciate that. Now I know what to do. And I'll come up with better things. I thank you all very much. And this is my show. Have a good day, my people.